I received a question about immortality, and it's basically um, asking how do you answer a person that doesn't care about if he will have immortality or not, and if the option is basically, well, I will not live forever, I can, I will then enter eternal death. Uh, so what? You know, we want to live forever anyway. Now, <clears throat> there's two things that I see there. Is number one, the person that says such a thing doesn't have an idea on what life is and what the quality of life uh, is that we have in Christ and how beautiful and wonderful that is. Um, I think the greatest thing that we need to understand is that there will be an eternal death. And the way I understand that eternal death is that we will return to what we came from, and that is dust, um, which is, um, some people call the doctrine of annihilation. Now, I don't want to say I believe everything that is said in the doctrine of annihilation and what people believe there, but what I uh, think is that eternal death uh, will be a place where you are eternally dead. It's not a place of non-existence, uh, but a place where whatever exists is completely dead. Um, so in the resurrection, I believe all people will be raised, but some will be raised unto eternal death. However that will take place, uh, we will not know if they will live and die or if they will have the judgment of, or not that God will bring it upon them, but if they will then continue to die or have an eternal death. The Bible says hell and death will be put in the lake of fire, you know, um, and be completely consumed. So uh, it, it is uh, a place where death and everything that it brings will be completely consumed in the immortal life that manifests in people. Now, this is what I believe. I believe the Holy Spirit, when he enters us, uh, he will bring us into the manifestation of the life of God. Uh, which is eternal life. But the spirit that is in us, if it's not the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of works or self-righteousness or human effort or whatever, will not be able to raise us from the grave uh, since only God possesses that power and the spirit of God, which is the, 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 what is done for us in Christ. So that person will not be able to be raised for what he believed doesn't have the power to raise somebody from the dead. Uh, and then he will, and since that knowledge will not even exist anymore, that kind of a belief, he will be completely separated from being resurrected and enter, enter eternal death. I don't um, believe in a place, well, I used to, uh, but I don't think that God is, I remember thinking that God will eternally torture people uh, and torment people. Now the Bible says fear involves torment and that the spirit of God is not a spirit of fear. So it is not a spirit that will bring torment to people's hearts. What torments is Satan's belief. What torments is Satan's doctrine. And that is what will bring um, utter death to us. So um, if people, if all people get raised in the resurrection, just and the unjust, as I believe the Bible says, it doesn't matter to me in this sense um, that at eventually the end of the unjust will be complete condemnation, which is not... Um, God finding joy in <laughs> tormenting people or the devil tormenting people. I believe all of that will end and cease and that person uh, will go into eternal death um, and we will, as believers, will go into eternal life. Uh, that's how I see it. God bless.